hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so let's complete i mean let's proceed our work on the cart list so now the next thing is we need to display the things i mean the items on the cart list so we can say on start inside this method by using the firebase recycler adapter we will retrieve the items basically so we can say database reference let's give it a name as cart list reference equals to a child and the child will be our cart list now make sure to put a semicolon here then we can say firebase recycler options here we need to pass our model class which is and we have to create our I mean a model class for the cart so here I can simply add another one new java class and it will be cart and then press ok private string we have pid which is the product id and these names are similar to our firebase okay i mean the ski name which is the pid then we have p name which is the product name and first of all let me show it to you so that you can know what it what the name is okay which is PID, P name, discount, debt, all these. Then we have price, wanted, and discount. That is all what we need for now. Now we need a default constructor. So generate constructor. First of all, an empty constructor. So we can just click OK, which is this one, OK, and then a constructor with parameters. So we can say generate constructor make sure to select all of these and then click OK and the next thing is get an inserter for all over these okay so we can say generate sorry not constructor it is the getter and setter for all these click OK you can see this yeah now let's go back and here we need to pass the constructor to it which is our cart we can give it name as options equals to new firebase recycler options dot builder and in here we need to pass the model class cart after this we can say dot set query and our query will be cart list which is our reference to the database okay cart list reference dot child the child is user view which is this one okay put comma here but before that we say dot let's move it to the next line dot child after this dot okay and if you see we have a user view then we have the phone number of that specific user which is a unique phone number for that user and after that we have this products name and after this products we have all the products that is inside the cart list so how we can do this after I mean in here we need to pass the uh, phone number so we can say prevalent dot current online user after this we need to say dot child and the child is our products node and sorry here we need to say current online user dot get phone so yeah that's it and after this products put a comma and we need to pass the cart which is our model class so you can say cart dot class after this we can say dot build and make sure to put a semicolon here let's move it to the next line which is dot build so this is our user i mean the cart list reference okay which is a reference to the cart list node and after that we have a user view node and after user view node we have this phone number which we get by this okay after this user view we say dot child prevalent dot current online user get phone and once we get that phone then after that we say dot child products which is our products node and inside this products node we have all the products that a user add to their cart list so yeah this is so simple and so easy now we are ready to use the firebase recycler adapter so you can say firebase recycler adapter 
and inside this angular braces it first to the cart which is our model class the second one is the cart view holder i mean that class we need to create now so here you can see we have this view holder directory i mean this folder in here we are going to create that so java class we can give it a name as cart view holder it's okay now on our this cart view holder we need to get our this cart items i mean all these items we need to access it here okay i mean on our cart view holder so we can say a public text view first one is the txt product name the second one is the txt product price and then we have txt product quantity private item click listener let's give it name is item click listener it must extend the recycler view dot view holder implements view dot on click listener and here you can see this red line i mean it is displaying this error so for that all you need is to click on this red bulb and click this implement methods and here you can see this on click method will be implemented now again you can simply click here click here and here you can see it says create constructor match or super so click on that and it will create this constructor now also you can manually type but just for the time saving i do it i mean like quickly i mean just clicking on that red bulb which give us the suggestion so here we can see txt product name equals item view dot find view by id or dot id dot and the id for the txt product name is first make sure to import this r press alt enter and it will import this and then the id for that is uh, cart product name and then i can simply copy paste it for the other two and change this to txt product price and change this one to txt product quantity and make sure to change the id of it to cart product price this one is cart product quantity so that's it now here after this one click we can say set item click listener and uh, inside this on click we can say item click list dot on click we need to pass this view okay so we can say view comma get adapter position comma false so yeah that's it this is our cart view holder now let's go back and here we need to pass this cart view holder let's give it a name as adapter equals to new firebase recycler adapter and these two methods alongside with that is created which is on bind view holder and on create holder and make sure to put semicolon here first now the next important thing is here we need to pass our this firebase recycler option so you can say options let's come down to the on create view holder remove this return here we can say view view equals to layout in flutter dot from by using this object view group parent we can say parent dot get contact and after that we can say dot inflate or dot layout dot and it is by the name cart activity so cart items layout okay which is over this layout comma parent comma false make sure to put a semicolon here we can say cart view holder let's give it name as hold equals to new cart view hold and pass view here now we must return this holder to it and now come here and inside this on bind view holder we can now just display the things i mean the information on our the text field so you can set txt product quantity dot set text model 
dot get quantity we can just copy paste it for the other two which is txt product price get price then we have the txt product name get p name which is product name so yeah that's it now we can test our app to see if it is working or not so let's run it so you can see that our app is running now successfully now if we click on this card button so we have i'm sorry i forgot we have to set a click listener on this button that will send the user to the cart activity and also here on this drawer which is this one okay so yeah let's go to the Windows studio back let's go to the home activity and here we have our floating action button which is this one and we need to cut this snackbar.mac okay and here we need to add the intent code that is to send the user to the cart activity so here we can simply say intent we are on the home activity we want to send the user to the cart sorry it's capital C and this is our cart activity dot class now put a semicolon here we can start the activity for the intent now let's copy paste this and come down and we have our this on navigation item selected here we when the user click on this nav card button then we can send the user to the cart activity and one thing which is left is go to the cart activity and here after this on create view holder you can see we have this curly brace and this semicolon so this line of code I mean after this line we can simply say recycler view dot set adapter pass the adapter to it which is our firebase recycler adapter and then we can say adapter dot start listening that's it now we can test the app so our app is running now successfully let's click on this card button and here we go here you can see macbook pro iphone x so we have added two products to our cart list as you know that and to make it uh, look more i mean perfect what we're going to do let us go back to the uh, android studio here we have this quantity so just displaying it like that we can add this plus sign which is the concatenation and here we can simply say quantity equals to this okay this is our quantity and also here we can say product or we can say price and after that we can simply say there is you can put this dollar sign and yeah now it will be more it will be more perfect now so let's come here and here you can see this macbook pro iphone x this is the price and this is the quantity so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial what we will be doing is that uh, a user can add many products to his card that is let's say i'm going to add another one that is let's say the school summer t-shirts let's say three okay add to cart and then i can tell you what we will do next so you can see cool summer t-shirts and new product appear here at the top so as i told you oh, what we will be doing next the next thing is to that is a user can add the product uh, products to the cart list but what if the user do not want this cool uh, summer t-shirts or this iphone x so the user can simply click on this cool summer t-shirts and remove this product from the cart list and also this iphone okay so we will be working on that in the next video tutorial and then we will proceed to the next step that is for the final order i mean the user will confirm his final order so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram and facebook account and yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now